before we proceed, my name is Suveer Bhatia. Um, I'm basically the director of services at Water for Analytics. Uh, my primary job is to uh, look at the uh, customer deliveries uh, and also uh, the services which we are providing to our customers. Um, also, my part is a bit on to sales and marketing. So I'm just doing that bit as well. Uh, primarily, our company is information management company and we deal into analytics. I hope my voice is audible. I hope uh, it seems the voice is breaking. Can you confirm if the voice is, if, the, if I'm audible? <laughs> okay, so quick. Okay, sure. Thank you. Thank you, Sanjana. Thank you, Jatin. So uh, what if retalytics, it is called as what if retalytics, that's primarily retail analytics. Uh, we are delivering uh, automated solutions uh, into the B2B segment, um, especially for retailers. So we have come up with a, a customer engagement and uh, brand engagement uh, solutions for all the retailers. So whether you are um, an education institute or you are running um, a diagnostic center, a healthcare facility, a hospital, or even for that matter, a dispensary. So be it any business, our job is to uh, bring the business um, into, the, into the visibility, the digital visibility, so that more and more people are, um, they can reach us and they can definitely enhance our business. So company portfolio, so we believe in a growth culture which is based on marketing, and customer experience because for every company customers are everything so be it uh, um, any retailer or be it any <clears throat> service or product class business definitely product customers are everything so on the screen yes we are into customer management marketing and advertising uh, omni channel digital customer engagement um, you know some part of social media content management um, brand management, performance management, and process automation, and customer service. These are just some of uh, the things that we are doing uh, for retailers. And our mission is to uh, basically become a trusted partner uh, for our customers on digital side. So for the digital business success, yes, we would want to be the, the frontiers and the pioneers in that. That's our mission. So we are today going to talk about Google business messages. Um, if people are aware of business messages, that's great. But if not, then we can quickly look at what exactly the business message is. So in 2017 and 18, Google launched uh, um, a feature in our Google My Business profile called as in a chat. So the chat particular option is called as business messages directly by on the Google profile, which we have. If we don't have a Google profile, then we need to create the profile. And in that profile, we can add these features like a chat option wherein customers can directly reach us. Um, so yes, we want to help the customers in the moment of their need anytime and anywhere uh, through our um, uh, omni-channel communication. So right now we're talking about Google. So it's all about Google My Business communication. So <clears throat> this... Uh, uh, session today is about to automate your customer communications with google's business messages customers are looking for businesses products and services all the time when they are on the internet the only thing that they need is a quick service and uh, uh, the quality at the speed of which the the business will cater to the customer definitely that matters to the customer in today's world <laughs> so um, a customer goes to uh, an online digital store and he can see uh, uh, some products and services, and he can see a way that he can communicate with the business. Uh, that's how uh, the digital channel, basically, we would like to integrate and uh, put forward so that we can reach more and more people. So yes, uh, Water Fertilytics is delivering the intelligent and smart communications to the online users through the virtual rich messaging experiences. To give an example, let's say if, um, if you're if you're a doctor and if you're running a, a dental uh, healthcare facility, then <clears throat> as a layman, I may not know what are the other dental services the clinic is providing. 
could be uh, could be other reasonable services or daily services that uh, you know basic hygiene services the dental uh, uh, clinic must providing but these things should come up or digitally these things should come <clears throat> these things should come up uh, on the digital platforms because uh, that is how they're going to look on our, uh, on our business from the digital side so yes uh, we are giving uh, this rich messaging experiences on google searches and google maps so whoever is searching for us on the maps or this or on the search engine <coughs> they can find us um, basically this automated messaging experiences giving it gives a convenience to user to explore the services or the products via digital assistant. You can take this as your digital assistant, which going to answer on your behalf. All right. So you can see there's a small feedback from the customer. Google messages allowed our customers um, to engage uh, in the most uh, a crucial journey. That is the discovery phase. And that is where the business messages came in. Um, kind of try to engage the customer over there. So what we want to do is, uh, 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 if what if we could design a customer experience that helps people in the time and the place they need because customers want answers immediately. Could be appointment, could be inquiry about a particular product or a service. So what if they could get answers to these queries on the products and services without even calling or speaking to a business person? I mean, this is something which is going to be great because users can ask as many as questions they have about a product or a service uh, and business user need not really uh, matter on this because there is going to be a virtual assistant which is going to give answers to the, to the customers. So yes, uh, Board of Retalytics messages, internet users engage directly with your store company on Google profile. So definitely you have a Google profile and customers will directly start engaging with you on that particular part through our automated AI chart chat experience. That is what the chat bot is all about. So why to use this uh, communication tool? What is the use for this? So uh, being the Google partner, we are Google partners working on Google My Business and Google Business Messages and Google Ads and other products. So we are definitely bringing uh, a rich and mature messaging experience to the internet users who are searching for a product or service. So usefulness of this communication. So let's say I, I have set up an automated bot for my business profile. And what is the usefulness there? Firstly is uh, you reach more people uh, because uh, we can spread this virtual bot to the social media posts and to other things which we have. So let's say you spread the bot in your social media and people are clicking on the, uh, they're going on the Instagram, they're going on Facebook, they click on the bot link which you have shared. Once they click on that link, they are able to actually talk to your business directly. So yes, we are reaching more people. We are able to understand customer conversation. So what customers are actually wanting to inquire or need from the business, that is what we can understand. A means to sell more, definitely if customer is looking for one particular product and if we are showcasing more than one product to a customer, we are likely to do an upselling and cross-selling over there. And nevertheless, or last but not the least is a reduced staff workload. Definitely, if you share your phone number on Google, and if you are a retailer who is dealing into a fashion apparel kind of a category, you may receive hundreds of calls in a day, All right? So we have customers who receive 100, 120 calls in a day. So in order to uh, avoid picking each and every call, and uh, you, know, uh, you can set up in a virtual bot, which will help these customers answer these things. So yes, the goals of this messaging systems are quickly go through this point and then we can get into question and answers uh, for all the people who are in the meeting. So <clears throat> what is the goal of this system? The goal of this messaging system is to work as a digital assistant for your physical store, which could be your business, doctor's clinic, education institute, a bookstore, a library, it could be anything. Um, do a quick replies to internet users who are asking questions about your product on your Google business profile. Yes, the, that's the intention to provide quick replies to the questions being asked. Third, uh, drive the in-store phone call volume down to increase staff efficiency. See, now if you are receiving a lot of calls, yes, you will be benefited by this service. Even if you're not receiving a call by setting up this service, there is a likeliness of people inquiring about a product or a service. 
Uh, and last but not the least is answer frequently asked questions about the product or a service. And al also you can set a standard before your customers that this is our business standard. Okay, how retailers can leverage business messages. You can see this is a Bajaj showroom uh, and this is a business profile which we'll see for Bajaj showroom. And you can see there's a small chat option over there and that is what we are talking about. So what is the use case for uh, retailers uh, to do the basic store inquiry? Now this is applicable to doctor's clinic, education institutes, uh, op uh, optical stores, uh, uh, fashion apparel stores. So yes, basic store inquiry, is it open or any contact numbers or any latest catalogs or collections, product categories that you can show uh, those kind of inquiries. Yes, <clears throat> product or service search selections, if any specific product they would like to inquire in a catalog which they have seen. Um, uh, most of the time what happens, uh, that happens with me also, let's say if I'm passing by a Levi's store, and then until I pass the store, I would not come to know whether there's some offer going on, like buy two and get free, unless I really pass by the store. Um, but yes, this automated uh, messaging system can spread to most of the internet users who are looking for our services. Maybe they sometime looked in the past or they're looking at some time right now. So we can spread the offers and promotions. So what happens if the people are aware of the offers, they will definitely walk inside the store. There is one customer, let's say they are running in a shipping uh, lines, they are into cruise lines, they are into um, touring and destinations. So global anchor, uh, touring and cruise lines, uh, how they're leveraging the business messages. Now you can see on the left-hand side, there are some questions and in the, in the, uh, in the mobile uh, screen, you can see uh, there is some kind of a branding which is done for Global Anchor. There is a logo for the company and uh, there is the name for the company. And what does this initial conversation happens the moment a customer clicks on a chat button? They say that we are welcome you to the Global Anchor Touring and Cruise Lines culture. Our mission is to deliver exceptional vacation experiences through the world's best known brands that cater to an outstanding value either on land or at the sea. Now with this introduction of this business, they have made the pitch very clear that we deal into both land and sea and we are open to all the destinations globally available. And you can definitely reach out to us. And then there are options that for what reason you can reach out to us. You can reach out to us for a checkout tour destinations, for any contact details or reservations, uh, operating hours for the businesses or any existing offers, packages, promotions going on. Now, <clears throat> now when, let's say you know, the user comes on this particular screen for Global Anchor and now he is free to inquire about a product or a service. He can actually do investigations for half an hour, one hour. We can engage the customers you know, once he's on this screen. So what does the next screen talk about? So next screen says that uh, I'm not sure how visible this would be actually uh, uh, I'm sorry for the very small um, image here. So the moment the customer clicks on this, it says, uh, hello, we welcome you to the Global Anchor as I spoke about. You can check out our tools by clicking on the tour destinations. Once the person clicks on check out our tour destinations, you can see that there's another screen which has come out which says the uh, Andaman and Nicobar and then there is some option for the Goa part. So you can click in the most relevant tour that you would like to see and click on the explore button and wait for the system to show more details. The moment the person clicks on the go apart, let's say explore the go apart, you can see that there are two options which are coming in the next screen. I'm not sure if we can zoom it. That's great. We can zoom it. You can see once I click on the explore for the go apart, I can see uh, the, the two outputs called as the Kyria, Prestige, Kalungud and the Goa Beach. And after this, I can definitely inquire uh, about a specific uh, particular uh, service. Let's say for Goa Beach, when I click on the Goa Beach, now there are three options. You would like to inquire, you would like to um, read the brochure for this, or you would like to go to main menu. If I click on brochure, it takes us to, um, to a browser where it displays the whole itinerary for that particular package. So what's going to happen in the city for seven days? What, where are you going to roam? What is the itinerary for your plan? Everything is given in that. Now, this is basically for a touring company. And uh, let's come to tra trainings, uh, trainings arrangement. So we have, let's say pedagogy trainings and business uh, consultancy services. So 
how this is going to help the bot. So we have welcome to the pedagogy trainings and how may I help you? There are four options, institute visiting time, institute contact details, course and program details and institute location. Now a user can select any of these four options. <clears throat> let's say he selects, let me zoom back again. So let's say he selects, uh, uh, you know, the course and program details. So you can see here, there's a course and program details. The moment I select that, the, the, the bot is going to display all the available programs and details. And I can click on a specific program. Let's say I'm interested in business analytics. I'm going to click on view details for business analytics. And that's how it's going to come back to the last screen saying that business analytics, some description about that program. And then again, yes, I'm interested, go to the website and then go to the main course. Now go to the website, I can understand. Go to the main course, I can, what is about I'm interested. So when a person clicks on I'm interested, there is a small form which comes up just to it's going to ask your name and the phone number and probably in your email address. And once that happens, he says, okay, submit and email it directly gone to the owner of the business saying that this particular user is actually looking for your service. Why business messages? Because it is driving the customer satisfaction above 85%. You can see this. And these are all Google statistics. We can see how auto dealers can leverage business messages by showing the inventory which they have scheduling a test drive or pricing quotes, et cetera. How real estate can use this by booking in office visit, doing a 360 degree virtual tours, property tours, other exploring options, et cetera. Now quickly, our customers, when we are into this uh, engagement with Google and with our customers almost been close to one year and we have acquired 70 odd customers and we are growing that on a daily basis. Some of our customers you can see on the screen, we have Cara Fashions, which is into fashions. Cocoons, which is into uh, children's uh, uh, um, apparel, Queenstown, which is again into uh, women apparel, Speedy into men's apparel, Home Sarah Decor, basically for your home furnishing requirements, Six Sense, it's a perfume store. Um, and these are just to name a handful of them because all the customers will not fit, all fit on the screen. So we have just showcased six, but we have many different categories where we have, we have dentists who are with us. There are three dentists. We have uh, uh, restaurants with us. Uh, uh, we have a jewelry.